Hello YouTube! Welcome to day 4 of my 7 days of Halloween. So today's look we're gonna be doing a zombie! So for a long time I've been wanting to do a zombie, especially from the fact that I love The Walking Dead. That was like the inspiration for this look. So anyways, let's just jump right into it, no talking too much. So first off, starting off with a clean face, clean washed face and moisturized. I'm going to just um, glue down my brows. So the latex that I'm going to put on top of the brows, don't pull out my brow hair. We don't want to end up with browless, a browless face. So anyways, once I'm done gluing down my brows, I'm just going to go in with my prosthetics. I'm just, that is um, cotton um, soaked in liquid latex. So I'm just going to soak the cotton wool in a uh, liquid latex and basically blend it into my skin with latex. So um, I ripped off one of the eyes, you know, to kind of create this flesh wound. I didn't want the zombie to look too... Um, too neat if that's the word i didn't want him to look too good you know i wanted i wanted to have that like really sunken eyes that zombies have so anyways after applying that and drying it off i'm just going to apply this um, prosthetic outer mouth that i made earlier so basically i just did um some teeth outside that's what i wanted i didn't want it to look like um a normal mouth i wanted the teeth like exposed teeth so anyways i'm just going to rub some latex all over my mouth then apply that um prosthetics on my lips I'm just trying to like angle it so it rests very well on my face <laughs> I'm just testing the prosthetics to see that my mouth can still move through it so anyways I'm just going to blend out the edges into my skin with some liquid latex as usual just taking latex and just basically blending the edges so it's a bit flatter against my skin and not too raised on my skin and not too raised on my skin or against my skin so once i am done applying that i'm just going to quickly use my hand dryer and dry it off so it's i can now start pre-painting or pre-blending so now going with my nuban beauty blending sponge i'm going to go in with this zikel i'm going in with a combination of the zikel um uh, foundation and my flawless um iv foundation so i'm just mixing the two of them together i want something that would look closest to my skin tone and um yeah so basically i just mix the two foundations together and i'm using it to blend the foundation even though i'm going to still dirty up the foundation so it's one of my teeth was falling off anyways i'll fix that later so blending it into my skin so it's kind of rhymes So now once I'm done, I I went off camera and I painted or I painted everything so I don't really waste so much time blending and painting it on camera. So anyways, once I'm done, I'm going to just start um, applying shadows and shades into my eye. So first off, I'm going with this black eyeshadow in the eye area just to give that illusion of a like really sunken in eyes so it looks like you know you know when the face and everything is so dried up and the face is looking sunken in so now i'm just going to take that same black eyeshadow i don't want this zombie to look too neat so i'm just taking that black eyeshadow and basically um 
coloring and blending it all over my face uh, where especially where else i need shadowing and where i want to like really pop especially like under the eyes i really want it to look like really sunken so i'm applying that shadow under the um eye let's say eye, eye bags or drooping eyes so once i'm basically done with that i'm going to just take that black eyeshadow or every other place to try and blend everything together so now once i'm done blending everything together and i'm satisfied i'm taking some um some it's kind of like liquidy liquidy blood it's it's not like blood blood it's kind of i wanted the face to look very moist so i'm applying that all over the mouth area and yeah once i'm done applying that i'm then going into the real blood and just covering up the teeth and basically shading up every other place that i want to give that illusion especially the side that has um the injury so guys this is the end of my zombie tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to share and support 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 thank you guys so far for those of you who have been watching i really truly appreciate and love you guys don't know what it means to me thank you all so much god bless you guys anyways stick around day five Am I right? Yes. Stick around to my channel for day five. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>